All right, I'm gonna show you now how to program the robotic arm now you've done all the simulators. So let's take you over to this computer here. You are going to just log in and go to cell setup. And it should be on the desktop. And you're gonna to wanna to create a new cell setup. Make sure you have it set to ER focus for you. Then we're gonna add our robot up here, ER for you. And we are going to put a one meter slide base that you can actually use the slide base. So click OK and it should show up there. Uh, I'm also going to put on the general, I'm going to put on a table. And I'm actually going to set this to uh, 2,000 meters or millimeters to a two meter table. And then just click about right there. And I can click the little move key up here and just kind of drag it so it's pretty close. All right, then we'll click OK, click OK, um, and save this. And I've actually already saved this thing. I just called it uh, ER4U with slide base. So I'm actually not going to resave it over the top of that because I've already done that. Uh, then you're going to open up RoboCell. And we are going to go to a new project, File New. And then we're going to go to File and Import a 3D Model. And we're going to find the one that we saved. And mine was, again, ER4U Slide Base. So found this. It says, uh, do you want to change the peripheral devices? Axis 7 is not connected. We're going to connect it. So just click OK. Um, and uh, first thing you want to do is click um, pro, oops, controls off. It says, do you want to execute control on? I'm going to say OK. That should allow me to run the, uh, the slide base. Change this to professional. And then go up here to window and do simulation and teach. That kind of lines everything up. You've done that before. And now you can see up here, it says the robot has not been homed. Um, if we go to options, it might say offline or simulation. When you were working on it, it said simulation. It now says online, or at least it should say online. Um, and that's because it's actually controlling this robot over here. So if I click on one of these things, I can, uh, I can actually adjust the robot, make it move and do different things here. So I'm doing that by clicking and holding the W key and that moves that particular axis. Uh, but it says it hasn't been homed. So if you go up here to this little picture of this person um, with the home, it says search home all axes. Uh, you can also do that um, under run, under search home, but I'm just gonna use this little shortcut. So I'm gonna click that, and then it's gonna give you this little uh, um, homing table here. It's not focusing on that. But then the robot has to go through its whole little thing. Uh, sometimes this takes up to um, two minutes to complete this whole thing, so it's not a quick process. But it's gotta search all the different axes, so it's gonna run everything. So we'll get back to this in a minute. Once it has been home, you won't see that little error message at the top there, um, and a robot should be kind of docked in this position. So now if I go down here to manual movement, uh, you can see that I have selected the XYZ. Uh, a lot easier to control it. Y goes left and right, X goes forward and back, and Z goes up and down. So I want this thing to move um, forward, so I'm gonna hit one of the X keys. I don't remember which one it is, I think it's Q. No, it looks like Q went backwards. Uh, then I get this little error, it says it's not in the Cartesian workplace because it won't actually uh, go back any further. So let me change that, let me go forward, and then I'm gonna go down, and okay, so that's how you move it. So I'm gonna actually try to move it over that block, but I need to program my home position first. And since I've already moved it, that's kind of screwed it up, so all we gotta do is go up here to run, and then just click go home, all axes, and then the robot will automatically return back to its spot. Um, I need to teach this position, and again, I should be in pro. I'm gonna include peripherals here so that the slide base will also work. And I always, well, you don't really need to expand it. Uh, you always wanna teach your home position is 99. So if I click record, then it knows now that that position is 99. And the first position I wanna go to is right above this block. All right, so I fast forwarded through that part just to make it quicker. Um, and I, uh, if I use the P and R, those uh, will rotate the claw 
Um, right now I'm doing P, so that's kind of rotating the wrist a little bit. Uh, went a little bit too far there. And R um, turns the claw a little bit side to side. There is no yaw in this robotic arm. So right now I'm at the position I want to be. I am over 0.1. So since I'm over 0.1, I'm going to call this point 11. 1-1 one, because one, it's on the uh, first level there. So I'm going to record this as position 11. Uh, let's record it. And then I need to open the gripper because if I go down any further, I'll smash into that. So if we go down here to open gripper, and this is all really fuzzy. Um, anyway, it opened the gripper, and now I can drop down in the Z direction. Until, and then uh, I'm going to move back just a little bit, actually. And then uh, at this spot, I'm going to program this as position 1. So I'll go back to here and program refocus position one, record that. Um, and that's, uh, that's all I'm gonna show you at this point. You can do uh, a program that's a lot more fun, a lot more complicated. Uh, but at this point, I can, uh, I can go back to my position number, and I'm, I'm gonna type in 99, and I'm gonna rapidly go to that spot. So if I click the rapid thing, the robot will just go right back to its position that I've already recorded that as 99. It's not like going home, it's going to that spot. And now if I write a very simple program, I'm going to write, um, type in um, OG, open gripper, then GP, go to position, and I want to go to position 11, and I can do that fast because it's above the object, and I'm going to go do that by um, just allowing the joints on the robot to move, not going in linear. Uh, linear is not a good idea because then it will uh, it'll go in a diagonal. Um, you can try it out, you'll get an error. Uh, then once I get to 11, uh, again I open the gripper to begin with just to be safe. Um, so the gripper is open. Then I'm going to go to position 1 and I'm going to go there at a medium speed because I'm going to pick up the part. I'm going to CG for close gripper. Then I'm going to go to position 11 uh, at a medium speed and then I'm going to go to position 99 at a fast speed and what I should do then if I click at the very top and then I'm gonna run this program one time so I'm gonna run it and here I go to click and it should pick up this block for me Booyah. and it didn't really do anything with it it just picked it up so uh, if you want to write a program that picks it up from this little slide base, we could put different things on here for you to pick up. Uh, you could put stacks of yo-yos, whatever it is that you want to program in there. Um, then just bring me in here to, to show me what kind of cool program design you've used. Uh, if you want to end up programming so that you use a slide base, uh, you can see I went down here and I clicked on joints, and number seven is the joint we want, but you can see it's not actually running. Um, we, what we need to do is we need to, to turn that piece of hardware on. So if you go up here to options and we do hardware setup, go to peripherals, we can connect the slide base one meter to axis seven. And then it says control is off. Do you want to execute control on? Yes. And then seven is active. And so if I hit the U or the seven key, you can see it slides. And if you want to record a position, that includes a peripheral, you need to make sure that that check is checked. And I always check it no matter if it's moving or not. I always click that check when I record um, because sometimes it unchecks. And then you can move that thing around. Just be careful that you, if you try to set this block on something, that you always have it in a safe position. Um, and whenever you're testing out positions, um, keep your mouse up here on the stop key. So if you have to stop it, you can. Um, so it doesn't bang into anything and, and damage the robot. So that should be it. Can't wait to see which program.